Well, I started teaching here in 1974, September of 1974, uh, fresh out of my master's program at Brooklyn College. And the reason I took the job, besides the fact that I needed a job, was because I saw the potential for an amazing studio facility. And I'm happy to say that I guess we've brought that facility to its fruition now with all the modern technology we've added. I had low expectations coming in and I was blown away by the facilities and everything they have here. I was very skeptical, but it's really a great place to start. Cameras, even the stage they have, everything is in HD. I was totally impressed. I really didn't think it'd be much at all, especially being in a community college, but it's really exceeded my expectations. I wasn't expecting better than a four-year school, so it's pretty amazing what we can get out of this. We are high definition in our TV studio. We are high definition in our remote van where we can do up to five, six camera shoots. We're getting so much experience here that a lot of people at other schools don't get. And it's something I'm very, you know, grateful for because it's a lot of hands-on stuff, especially with the remote van. The remote van class is awesome. It is the, the thing that makes our program most unique. It was a dream of mine for a long time. Obviously, I've spent my entire career outside of teaching, working in television sports on remote vans. So the idea of being able to have students do the type of thing that I've been doing professionally my whole life is an amazing capability that we have here that I'm very excited about. Remote van was the greatest thing I could have done. It really helped me get my hands on editing and technical directing. Remote van has been one of my favorite things to do. It's so hands-on, like you get to go on a camera right away and and you get to go in the van and see all the controls. I think when we did the nine games in three days last year of the uh, National Junior College Athletic Association tournament here, that was an amazing evolution for our students. I saw people who could barely focus a camera when we started the tournament, who by the end of it were doing Cracker Jack sports camera work like they had been doing it for years. They grew that fast and it was exciting as, as anything I've ever been a part of here because of that growth that our students experienced. Everyone in! Family! I've never Ready? actually done this before. RTV on three. One, two, three! RTV! You feel like you're in a family and it's, it's a lot of fun. I don't feel like I'm excluded from anything. You know, it's a lot of respect, a lot of love here. RTV was definitely a family environment. You knew who you could turn to if you had a problem in this section or this section. We all like help each other and with the projects we're doing, we all stay and, you know, practice and help everyone get through it. Three, two, Feels like good one. Here, honestly, it's been like a family. I know a couple of people have said that already, but it really has been like a family. This is a unique learning environment down here in this basement. Other colleges have a much more rigid system than we have. Here we just say, if the facility is not being used, if the switcher is not being used in the control room, come on in and work on it. If a radio studio is not being used, go in and do original work in there. Our video editing stations, we have like 13, 14 of them. They're always available to students. I think that one of the most liberating aspects of our program is the fact that our facilities are as open as they are. And we encourage our students to hang out in the basement here. The, a lot of the skills you learn in radio and TV production, as soon as I went to my four-year school, they helped me get ahead of everyone else that was also a junior. If this is the career you want to do, Professors they have here are probably the most qualified to help you out because they're professors who actually have worked in this field or are still working in this field. Bernstein always says all the time, it's all about experience, it's all about going out there and like, you know, just doing it. It's honestly been like the, the greatest experience. I've learned a lot. I think I've become a better person. I've become a lot more confident within myself. This experience here has changed my life in a lot of ways and Honestly, I'm never going to forget this experience.